Okay, intro. I'm K to the W A M E. My name's not Kwame. My name's Kwame. Um, W I L L I A M. Please call me William when I'm at school, man. I'm H U M P H R E Y. Smiley face, cause you know I'm fly. Come T to the A to the S T E. That's the sign with capital E. I'm F to the L. Don't forget the Y. A K S A N O V A. Guys, then I stop. On with show. How do you feel as a youth in America at this current point in time? This current point in time in America, I feel like our economy is really bad. But I'm still having fun. I still find things to do. I have no excuses, like why I can't can't do things. Like I go and have fun with my friends. Um, I'm satisfied really with the youth in America. I think we have a lot of rights and we do a lot of things. How do you feel about the urbanization of like America? The urbanization, like how it's adding like more hip hop and everything into the culture. More hip hop versus yeah. like, like classical music? Is that what you're asking? Me? Versus anything else. They're adding more hip hop and everything. I think it's great. It's great? It's you great. don't mind? I like the OB music. Who doesn't like dancing? Who doesn't <laughs> like singing? Don't either. So. Thank you. No problem. So. How do you feel as a youth in America about today's present day economy? As like. What's going on, or what's going on in the industry? Well, it sucks. Evidently, it's going down the toilet because of bad government spending and taxing and people using their, their bailout money to go on private jet rides, you know? <laughs> Which, I don't feel like they're getting any money to go to those big um, company people when there are people down in Texas who love that money. Who need it more than billionaires? So, do you have billions of dollars? Thank you. <laughs> How's it be, feel to be a youth in an urbanizing America? I want to do it. We keep hearing. It feels good because I like to be young. So that means I'm not old. In an urbanizing America? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Okay, so um, how do you feel as like a youth as who you are in the current day America? I feel like I'm making my way. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, as a young African American in today's society, how do you feel about all the things going on? Like, where black people currently are in their standards of living? Well, I think it's interesting how black people are treated. I mean, I don't want to bring up the cards that everybody knows about, which is that we have a black president, but it's it's not really a black person world, it's, it's, um, it's a melting pot. <laughs> the whole world is way, way different than it usually is. Um, we actually have opportunities that we're upholding with now just because we took the time to actually look and see that we do have a black president and that we do have a chance. I mean, I've always thought of myself as having a chance and doing what I'm supposed to do, but I think really society, the black society, feels that they don't really have a choice and they don't really have a chance, so they don't give any effort. And since Obama got in office, it's been a really great uplifting to most of the youth and young adults of the world. Okay, so sir, how do you feel about today's economy? Um, okay, run down here again. Like economy, like um, what's going on with the industry, you know, like involving African Americans or people of color? Okay, well, I mean, you know, when it comes to uh, the current economy, I have to say it's doing better. But, you know, I mean, it's definitely doing better. But, you know, I have to say that on the aspect of like, we should on the health care we don't really need to worry about. It. I think it puts too much emphasis on like health care because. Honestly, it's ridiculous. I mean, for them to make this big of a deal or something that'll make our lives that much easier, then it's kind of stupid. You know, you're just doing it for the money, man. I know you are. I don't know who's watching this, but I know you are. And the fact is, all I want you to know is, you know, really, I think we should move on to the economy stuff. Like, the economy stuff. Where are you at, y'all? Pontiac is dead, folks. Pontiac is dead. Sir, calm down. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, how do you feel like about Valentine's Day? You know, it's like coming around the corner. It's the 14th Sunday. Yeah, I don't like Valentine's Day. It's not because I don't, don't have anyone. It's because 
I think it's a stupid day and you shouldn't just have to have one day to tell people that you love them. You should be every day. Oh, I can understand that. Okay, what is your concept of Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Oh, shoot. Um, well, for me, Valentine's Day has been kind of a weird holiday. I ain't gonna lie. It's just been kind of a... I don't know. It's an on and off holiday. I usually got messed with on, on Valentine's Day. I usually had good luck on Valentine's Day, though. I you know, I guess I'm a little burnt out. But, you know, hey, I mean, I got hope. I don't know. But I, I mean, if you got a girl or whatever, you know, I don't know your orientation. I'm just saying, if you got whatever, congratulations. Let's do it, man. Good. I like that. Man. I like to get together. Have fun. Thank you. Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about Valentine's Day? Um, I don't know about Valentine's Day. It's supposed to be the day where it shows how you want but it's kind of like, you know, I love everybody, so I gotta kind of show everybody. That's understandable. <laughs> okay, ma'am, how do you feel about Valentine's Day? I feel like Valentine's Day is a great day. I mean, I didn't spend it with anybody, but as long as you care about that, great. Really? The random question of the day is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Go. None. 28. What? None. What is your answer? Um, two trees. Two trees for? Oh, uh, that was a correct <laughs> answer. No, it's just a random question. No, not really. Just wait it. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Okay. Camera's rolling. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 3,422 forks. Why do you say that? Because woodchucks can get very hungry very quick. Is that recording? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A million. Mmm, why do you say that? I accept that. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, <laughs> like a kid. Um, stop it, you can't play. Really, why? Bro, you need some money. You need like 50 cents. You need to put it like 50 times. The black thing. Hell that up. You need to drink a water. It is now a unity fountain where blacks and whites can currently use the fountain. Introducing so he ain't a junkie, but he jewels a lot. <laughs> it's fair. Let's go get him. So lean it's on. You can handle us. So cool, baby, scandalous. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So cool, baby, watching out. It's on you. Can you handle us? So cool, baby, scandalous. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So cool, baby, watching out. So, so cool. Yeah. Come and get a taste of the hip soul food. Spice up the animal with Neo Haiku. I so go to school way slash kung fu. Blah. Pretty boy, wonder, ultra hip. Never miss the anything is possible. Party rock and launch. Yes. Slave on a cool shower on a hot summer. Huh? Fire start a cold starter. Starting all the drama. Mr. the nice guy. Fly by. Night cross the water. Ice got clear ride. Diamond custom order. Reporter. I got to the